The Germans were retreating. The Red Army was approaching. The Poles finally saw their chance. On August 1, 1944, units from the Polish Home Army and Underground Resistance launched their armed struggle to liberate Warsaw from Nazi occupation. It was one of the largest such efforts of the war. Polish forces may have outnumbered Germans around the capital, but the Germans had the Poles outgunned. The uprising strategy gambled on Soviet support. For the most part, it never came. They were also expecting Soviet forces to free the city within days, but they didn't. Historians still debate whether Stalin intentionally delayed the Red Army's advance because the Polish Home Army was anti-communist. Fighting lasted 63 days. A bloody stalemate took hold, but the Germans made progress. By early October, Polish forces negotiated their surrender. The toll on life and property was extreme. Tens of thousands of combatants on both sides were killed, as well as hundreds of thousands of civilians, many massacred by German forces during house-to-house -house combat. Warsaw lay in ruins, some of it destroyed in the fighting, much of the rest as retribution after it had ended. The Nazi leadership wanted to raise the city. The Warsaw Uprising was a tactical failure, but it succeeded in showing Poland's resilience to the Nazi occupiers and to Soviet dominance yet to come.